Hi, everybody. Uh, here's what you need to know about strategies for applying to graduate school. First, the single most important strategy for applying. Once you've made a decision on what career you want to pursue, you want to start looking at graduate programs in the state, in the nation, for this particular area of study, your particular subfield of psychology that you've decided upon. When choosing the specific schools to apply to, it's really important that you apply to a broad range of quality programs. That is, you want to apply to those you know, the great, prestigious, famous schools. You want to apply to solid, good quality schools. And and then you want to apply to what we call safety schools or backup schools. Let's talk about each of these. Um, first choice schools are the prestigious, famous schools. They're the schools that we all dream of getting into. Uh, if you're like most people, you dream big, and that's good. Uh, you want to get into the best school in the country for what you want to study. That makes sense. But be sure that you only send about one-third of your applications to these dream schools, the prestigious, famous schools that everyone dreams of getting into. Only set about one-third of your applications. Your second choice schools, those kind of second solid quality schools below the best in the country, below them, those second solid good quality schools, uh, these are good schools that you'd be proud to get admitted to and you'd be proud to graduate from. Again, be sure that you only send about one-third of your applications to these solid good quality schools. Your last choice for graduate school would be what we call your safety schools or your backup or safe bet schools. These are your backup graduate programs, schools that you're pretty sure that you can get into. Now what I mean by this is that you've looked online at the GRE scores and the GPA of the typical students who tend to get into these kinds of graduate schools and you're pretty sure that you can get into these schools. Now these are not the prestigious universities but they're good quality programs of course. Uh, you would never apply to a program that wasn't good quality. Again, send about one-third of your applications to these safety schools, these sort of backup schools down here at the bottom. They're not at the bottom, but the good schools. But only send about one-third of your applications there. Now, the strategy here is that you want to make sure that you get in somewhere, right? So this is the single most important strategy for applying to graduate programs. It's important that you apply to a range of quality programs, from the best and the most competitive to the good safety average programs that are less competitive to get into. Do not just apply to the top 10 graduate programs in the country. They're the hardest ones to get into. And then end up surprised that you didn't get in anywhere. That would be terrible, right? Uh, have a plan B and some safety schools that you would be happy with. Apply to that range of programs. Really important. Finally, a frequently asked questions that stu student always a students always ask me is, how many programs should I apply to? How many? Well, it's not really written down anywhere about how many programs you should apply to, but realistically, you want to apply to enough programs so that you get in somewhere, right? Remember that some subfields of psychology, like clinical psychology, are more competitive than other fields to get into. No matter what area you choose, it makes sense to apply to several programs, of course. Read an article here, read an article here in this folder called Odds of Admission to various types of graduate programs in psychology. Look for the article, Odds of Admission. It's in the folder. To remind you that it's pretty challenging to get into some of these fields. Know that it is normal to apply to up to 10 different graduate programs in order to ensure that you have some choices when you start getting acceptance letters and rejection letters. Applying to 6 to 10 graduate programs is actually pretty normal, so prepare for that. Clinical psychology students, again, a very competitive subfield of psychology. Clinical psychology students can apply to up to 12 graduate programs just to ensure that they get in somewhere because it's such a competitive area of psychology. When I was back in college, I myself applied to nine graduate programs, uh, doctoral programs in clinical psychology, and that was pretty normal for my friends, too, back then in college. So uh, in summary, here's what you need to know about strategies for applying to graduate programs. Remember, number one, when choosing the specific schools to apply to, it's important to apply to a range of quality graduate programs. The prestigious, famous programs, about one-third of your applications. The mid-range, solid, really good quality schools, about one-third of your applications go there. And then safety schools, backup schools, about one-third of your applications go there. Number two, know that it is normal to apply to up to 10 different graduate programs to ensure that you get in somewhere, you get, or, or at least you get some choices when you start getting acceptance letters and rejection letters. Applying to six to 10 
programs is pretty normal, six to ten graduate programs. The point is, it's challenging to get in, so it makes sense to apply to several programs and a broad range of quality programs. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again real soon.